work our way around back to Walking Dead. And so this is our next line of Halo um, action figures. We have four in the Halo 4 Series 3 lineup. Um, we have a multiplayer sport Spartan, which is the red one in the back. He's going to be a Walgreens exclusive. And so this line comes out in spring, actually in a couple weeks. Oh, okay. Um, Around the corner. Yeah. So, and then our Halo 4 Master Chief statue, That's that's been available for a couple months now. So you can buy him online. Um, this is our next Halo 5 Series 1, and we're going to have two waves of this series. Two figures will come out in summer, and then two will come out in fall. The two that will come out in summer will be Master Chief and Spartan Lock. So, this is the first time, and then the Halo 5 10 inch right back there, Spartan Lock. Um, it's the first time that we've actually scaled up for a Halo Deluxe yeah. figure. So, last time we did that guy in the back, and he is in relative size to Master Chief right here. So, he's actually double the size in the video game. So, this is the first time that we're scaling up. So, Halo fans are really excited about that. Um, we have our next big video game license, Assassin's Creed. And so we have our Assassin's Creed Series 4 lineup down there, which will come out in summer. Um, a cool thing about this line is that the one in the front, Arno, that is Todd's design of Arno's costume. So people are really excited about that. I know, there's that. such like, good detailing for the size and everything like yeah, that. Just yeah, yeah. Awesome. And then the Eagle Vision Arno is going to be a Walgreens exclusive. He's the one all in blue. And then we have one prototype from Assassin's Creed Series 5, which will come out in fall. And then our resin, which is also available online. This is our Assassin's Creed Series 3, which has already been out for a couple months now. And then some of our work for hire, we do a little bit... Um, where people want us to make something for them and then they sell it on their on their website. So these are a couple cosplay items like the Phantom Blade and the Hidden Blade. And the Phantom Blade actually has like a blade that shoots out. So it oh actually gosh, like wow. shoots out so of the very, arm. very realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's so cool. Yeah. Um we'll we'll jump right into our resins. These are two of our latest oh uh, WWE resins. Stone Cold is actually already sold out, but oh, wow. Triple H goes on sale February 20th. And so this is like the first look, first reveal of that statue. And it, we only make 400, and each will come with like a signed certificate of authenticity, signed by Todd. And each statue has the ring memorabilia. So everything that you see here oh, is awesome. what you get. You know, the whole, the whole background, the whole stand. And we number each one. So that's really cool. So definitely, definitely a collector's piece, especially when it's limited to only 400. Yeah. Because I know, like, that's very yeah. lovely for us. And, like and they go, I mean, they go out so fast. Okay. Yeah. We'll start down here, because and then we'll work our way up to the, the most current stuff. So this is our TV Series 6, and that's already out now. So we have, you know, the governor with his alternate head. And we have Abraham. And we have Rick Grimes, which is a Walgreens exclusive. And Herschel with the alternate leg and his crutches. And then Bungie Zombie in the back, who actually has like removable guts. So we try to do we try to do like some sort of play action with all of our zombies. And so I didn't realize you guys had that. That's so cool. Yeah, he has removable guts and the the little string of guts between his legs. Like you can plug that in to a stomach and hang him from things. <laughs> Just oh like God, the, so the ceiling or bungee zombie from the show. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that's our latest series that's already out. Next to it, we have our deluxe box set. So we have Dale and then his chopper that comes together. And then our, our upcoming deluxe box set is going to be Morgan with the walker spike trap where you can actually, you know, put the walker onto the spike because it has a hole in the stomach. Oh, that's one of my favorite. I love her. I don't know why. Like she's one of my favorite zombies for some reason. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool that you guys are doing that. Yeah. Well, I'll have to get her. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Our next seven, our next TV seven line is coming out in spring.
spring. And so we have Rick, who is going to be a Walt Disney exclusive. He's flashback Rick from the first series, because he has his sheriff outfit on and his hat, his walkie-talkie. Um, Gareth in the back, he, has, he comes with the carcass and the memorial candles. Mud Zombie, you can actually take his torso off and plug him into the base like you see right in front of him. So that's both the same, the same figures. Michonne comes with her cheese whiz can and her candle. And Carl, we updated Carl, made him a little bit more mature. We gave him a pudding can. I, that's probably like <laughs> the one of the biggest running jokes probably online with the pudding I know. can. Like, I, know. I mean, we say it all around the house. Like my cousin and I, we, she's also part of the channel too. And like my cousin loves the pudding can thing. I know, it's so funny. It's so random. It's like something so random that yeah. he's taken off with so much popularity. Right, it's right. like, I'm so glad you incorporated that. <laughs> and then Herschel. He has the bandage over his face uh, to protect him from the flu, and then he comes with an alternate head, which is when he met his demise. Poor oh, Herschel. No, I liked him. He was a good character. I know. He was a good character. And then we do Blu-ray cases. Um, oh, really? Like, see, I was just like, I'm like, wow, what a great figure. Like, I yeah, realized. yeah, that's a Blu-ray case. Um, and so is this. And I guess her hand actually moves when you when you go to open it. So. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So those are actually still available. Wow. And then we have our TV7 solids, which will come out in summer. So TV7 comes out in fall, and then our solids come out in summer. And we have Rick Grimes. He's in the back. Woodbury Assault Rick, as we call him. He has his plaid shirt. He comes with a telephone. We have Flu Walker. And then we have Grave Digger Daryl. So Grave Digger Daryl is going to be another Walgreens exclusive. And Walgreens. So definitely check out Walgreens. Yes. That's what she's saying, everybody. Yes, <laughs> definitely check out Walgreens. Wow. Um, in the back, we have our 10 inch deluxe figures. So Rick came out last winter, and he comes with the alternate arm. And then we have Survivor Edition Daryl. So with all of our 10 inch figures, we do a Survivor Edition, and we kind of bloody them up, make them a little bit more hard, a little bit more rugged. So. You can see all the all of the extra blood and stuff like that on Daryl. And then Michonne. That's our prototype of Michonne. She's unpainted right now, but I was gonna um, say, I'm like, wow, are you guys really seeing a bronze figure? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it does look pretty awesome. Like you can still see all of the cool detail on it, but the, yeah. that's just a prototype. We're still waiting to get her approved by AMC. Okay. But, but October is what you guys are looking at. Yeah, at yeah, okay. we're looking at fall for for Michelle. She's great. Yeah. Um, so the Walking Dead comic, I don't know if you follow that at all, but mm -hmm. we have our current series that's out in stores, comic series three. We have Rick with his missing arm, and um, we have Andrea. And then in the back, we have our Skybound exclusives. So usually around events, we will will create some some exclusive figure for Skybound, and then they'll release them. Like around New York Comic Con, they'll release it on their website, and they always sell out like crazy. So we did, you know, Jesus and Ezekiel, and Clementine was actually the first Walking Dead comic figure that we've done from the video game. So people were really excited that we incorporated a video game figure. And for all of our comic figures, we um, we base all of them off of cover art from the comic. So oh, you can okay, see Abraham sense. right there in the front. He's based off you know, The Walking Dead issue 53 in the back. Um, and you can see the difference between the two Abrahams there. That's our comic figure. Yeah, they're definitely in, like the body yeah. shape and like the. I mean, obviously this one you're definitely much yeah. focusing on the actor. Yeah, right exactly, there. exactly. So he has different face sculpt, and we don't just repaint it. We actually create different figures for him. So this is our comic series four, which will come out in summer. And my favorite one in the series is the pincushion zombie, which actually isn't in the comic. That's a concept that we created in house. And oh, okay. you can remove the weapons from him and put them back in. And you can actually use the weapons for other other uh, figures in the series. 
so it's kind of like an accessory pack. So it's really, <laughs> That's really fun. Cool. Yeah. And Carl comes with two other heads because in the comic he gets shot in the eye and then he has a bandage over it. So there's two other heads. And since Carl is a little bit shorter than the rest of the characters, we try to add more accessories to make up for it. So that's why he has, you know, two heads and his gun. Wow, this one's amazing. Yeah, that's our Rick Grimes comic resin. Um, He sold out to, but the detail on this is just incredible. Like all of the guts and you and the zombie that's on kind of laying flat, he has all the stomach guts hanging out. I know, it's like I love like stuff like in motion or in action. Like mm-hmm. it gives you like that realism like yeah, oh, I'm watching the show in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> or reading the comic friends. Yeah, and that was definitely Todd's fault with that one. So beautiful. Spawn. Yeah, <laughs> spawn. So this is our medieval spawn resin, which We're not exactly sure when we're going to release it. We think fall, but this has been a passion project for us. It's been like three years in the making. And this is an unpainted version as well. This is just a prototype. But the detailing I know. is so like, I mean, even to like the teeth, like I'm looking know. at the teeth here, I'm trying to zoom in, it's like so good. I know, it's crazy. And since like a lot it's of, worth the wait, it's worth right, the wait. Right, yeah, yeah. And fans will def, spawn fans will definitely agree with that, that it's worth the wait. But since a lot of our sculpting is digital now, like this, this statue is the biggest file that we've ever had. So just all of the detail, it and to like output it on a 3D printer just took forever. So, and you can see like, we still have a lot of detail on our other statues, but that is the biggest file by far that we've ever had. These are series two building sets, which will come out to mass retailers in fall of 2015. So up top we have Dale's RV, the Winnebago, which is actually, I think it's 550 pieces. Oh wow, yeah, just to build the RV. And people like come up to the case and they're like, oh, where can I, where can I get this? They think that it's like a single, yeah, no, that's like figure, what you would assume you know? because it's so like, yeah, detailed. You wouldn't think that you'd have to glue it together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you actually have to, you know build all of the bricks and there's two seats in the front Uh, the door opens the wheel spins comes with Dale and his little chair an umbrella up top comes with two different awnings so it can be opened or it can be closed so so yeah yeah that's one of the ones that I'm most excited about to see oh I love this one with the doors though that is so nice yes the hospital doors so it has the iconic don't open dead inside. Dead inside on it. Um, all of the hands. There's this cafeteria on there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's just really detailed. And that's 150 pieces. And what we try to do with the building sets is we want to not only build what's current and now in the show, we want to build iconic scenes. So no, that's definitely like, I mean, you see it yeah, everywhere. Yeah, so that's, one of that's when Rick was like, oh no, <laughs> this is what's going on. So cool. Our next figure pack is gonna be Daryl and Merle, the two brothers, and then three walkers. And then we have our Woodbury assault vehicle. So you can see that that is also. Oh, wow. like she's always the one of my favorite. Like she's so yes. again for the size, what blows us away because Chase is the other pretty cute. Yeah. And like Chase and I are always like amazed when we open the bag and we're like looking through the blind bag and putting it together. We're like, wow, you can see like the wrinkles on their body and like yeah. things like that. And it's just like so detailed for how small. Like people don't realize. Like literally, like look at my finger. <laughs> you know, it's like amazing mm-hmm. to see. Yeah. Exactly. Um, the cool, one of my favorite parts about the Woodbury Salt Vehicle is the little mesh bag of walkers in the back. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Catwalk. We have, we kind of have two different types of bills. We have the more expert and more um, complicated builds that you can really expand on, and that's what we would consider the prison cell catwalk. It's 300 pieces, like each stair is a piece. The bed is 10 pieces. It actually has the mattress and the sheet and the comforter and the pillow. So those are all separate. 
you can rearrange the rooms inside, except for the toilet that stays that stays all the same. But the doors open, they slide. So that's going to be a really fun one to build. And that comes with uh, Herschel in the feasting locker. And then we have the prison cells. There's going to be two types of each prison cell. So there will be two uppers and two lowers. Um, one version will be a walker version with a walker character. And then the other version will be a human version that comes with a human character. So our two humans are going to be Carol and Carl. And then you can actually add these prison cells to the catwalk if you want it. So okay. I was going to say, like, they look like just the little pegs on the top, like buildable. So yes. if you want to create a large prison, you can just keep buying more yeah. of these. You know? So you can build the lower separate and keep it like that, or you can get just the upper and the lower, or then you can add them to the catwalk. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with them. And each one will be 100 pieces. And then we have the boiler room, which is just so detailed. Like the brick wall in the back, and it has the telephone, because that's the first time that Rick found the telephone. The feasting walker. So it's just a really detailed, detailed build, and that will be two different pieces. The walker barrier, those will come out in a couple weeks, actually. So those will come with some walkers with the holes in the stomach where you can take them off and put them back on. <laughs> so those are really fun. And then our next wave of blind bags are going to be on the pedestal in the back. So we'll have Rick and we'll have Tyrese. And then a cool thing is this charred walker in the back left. Um, we did a six inch figure of the charred walker and he actually is kind of translucent. So if you put light behind oh, him, I he see actually it. glows. That's awesome. So, wow. yeah. That's a, it's such a affordably price too. Like I was looking at all the prices for everything, like $15, $20 and up. It's like affordably priced for the detail that you're getting. Yeah, yeah. You know, normally like for, you know, 20 bucks, it's hard to find something so right, elaborate. Right. <laughs> And, and so what you that. can do, like this build that we have back here, this has our catwalk and it has our prison cells and the walls are actually from the prison tower that's already out in stores and the windows are from the prison tower, we have the fence on the side, that's, you know, the prison gate and fence, the lights. So this is an example of what, of what you can build, like you can really customize your own scenes. You can have the walking dead at home. Yeah, exactly. And one of my favorite parts is that there's a little hole in the floor up there, and I think there's a walker falling, falling oh, through wow, it. Oh, yeah. So, it's just really fun. And we have, you know, a big build of our prison tower and fence. So, Toys R Us sells the prison tower and the fence together, but Walmart sells them separate, so that's a Walmart exclusive. So you can actually buy the, the fence separate from the tower. So if you wanted more fence, you could... Or to create your own size right, of the Right, right, exactly. So we have four towers in here, we have a bunch of fence, we have some walker barriers. This is pretty much the same, just a different setup. Yeah. Again, just showing different variations yeah. that you guys can like not yeah. have to just stick with the box. Or you can make something that is even something that your own concept. Right, because all of the bricks build with each other. So, you know, you can take the bricks from here and use them anywhere. I'm really excited they, for this. Like, yes. I love the background and it actually lights up. That's yeah. So cool. And we've actually tested it in the office, like taking off the lids to the tanks and filling them with like colored water. And that makes it a really cool glow. Oh, wow. Too. Really? Even with having the light in there, you can yeah. it's sealed enough to yeah. put water in it. Yeah. That's so cool. It's yeah. really amazing. Yep. Okay, this the is a heads. set I mean, I'm going to have to maybe get. I love, like, the, the, the wall of heads is, like, one of my favorite things. I, I know. know. Silly, and you can actually take different blind bag walker heads and put them in the cases, too. So you can really make it your own. That is so cool. And we've done some, we've done some videos um, on our YouTube channel where we've, like, you know, had some red paint and made it all bloody in the inside. And so you can really, really make Showing it your own. 
building process. That's really cool. And this is about 300 pieces, this, this build right here. I think the chair that the governor is sitting in is about 13 or 14 pieces alone. So this is my first build. It may take me a little while. <laughs>